Hey folks, Country Prepper here. Well, I am out testing out the weight on my bug out bag. And I'm not going to lie to you, I am a little too out of shape to be carrying this much extra weight. Now, I weighed the pack before I uh, took off with it and scale read right on just under 27 pounds. So that is a little much for someone in my physical condition to. Uh, to be carrying but how do you get in better shape and know whether you can carry your pack long distances if you don't get out and carry it once in a while <laughs> so over the next well over the spring summer fall I'll be out uh, carrying this quite a few times anyhow uh, that was towards the end of my hike I wasn't sure if I wanted to do this video today or not with me uh, gasping for air. <laughs> but uh, uh, just about back to the truck. So I'm going to take this back and, uh, you know, get it in the garage and start pulling things out of this pack and, and show you everything, get your opinion on it. So I'll be right back. All right, so the first couple of things I want to show you, the SOG. Tactical tomahawk just stuck down in behind this pouch. It's a little tough to get out, but not real bad. Anyhow, uh, this will actually probably go on my belt just as soon as I take off. Or just as soon as I can get everything transferred to my belt. And the same thing with this knife. It's just... Velcroed on through these uh, two spots in the top of the bag that are actually made for uh, like a radio antenna, something like that. Uh, some people think that they're for a uh, water bladder, but they're actually not. It's that's not what it says on the website, anyhow. Uh, to tell you what this bag is, this is the LA Police Gear Operator Pack. Uh, I added this. This is a Condor pouch, and uh, <laughs> I'll leave links to uh, to each one of those things down below in the description. But as far as this knife goes, um, first thing I have to mention is in this pouch. If I should have to drop this pack and take off in a hurry, lighten my load, I would just probably grab the tomahawk and this knife. And what I have in here. I have one of my ferro rods with, uh, I call this a tinder fob, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, uh, it's jute twine, great way to start a fire, and then I have my stream light, uh, micro stream, uh, 35 lumen LED flashlight, and it takes a AAA battery, so I have a spare AAA in there. Now for the rest of this video, I'm actually going to set the bag aside, and I'm going to show you each pocket individually and cut them in between put everything away that way i can keep stuff organized and uh, keep this video as short as possible okay so i'm going to start off with a side pouch here in this side i have an extra 50 rounds of uh, 40 caliber 180 grain hollow points that goes with my smith and wesson mmp shield 40 cal and that is the extra clip now if you haven't seen that gun I have a review of it and I'll leave a link to that so you can go watch it if you're interested uh, the other side just a, a regular 32 ounce canteen uh, why 32 ounces because that is what the uh, uh, water purification tablets most of those are for one liter, 32 ounces, same thing. So, next pouch I'm going to empty. Well, I'll show you a couple more things that are on the front of this outside of the bag. Is I have a backup folder knife. This is my SEHF 501. And I have that on a lanyard, on a carabiner, so that it can't fall off of my pack in case I have to take off running or something like that. Uh, this is my Olight ST25 baton takes two AA flashlights, 550 lumens, also lanyard to a canter beaner so it cannot fall off either. 
Next pouch. This is my mess kit and has a few snacks in it. I have three Cliff Bars. A couple of sports. And I have my Coglins folding stove with, uh, let's see, what is it? 12, 24 fuel tabs in there. And then it's in this pouch so the soot doesn't get inside of this pouch. In here, my mess kit. This is a Texport stainless steel mess kit. Has copper bottom. Rubberized handle, kind of keep the heat off your hand, but it will melt if you're not careful. This has a plate. Uh, inside here, I have a bandana just for the purpose of keeping this kit quiet. Uh, if you don't put something in here, uh, this kit rattles really bad. But uh, inside of there, I have a, a scrub, uh, yeah, scrubber pad to clean it with, and I have a few spices has this little, I think it's an 8 ounce cup that comes with it. Uh, this is some olive oil. And in here I have onion powder, salt. Um, well, anyhow, not really that important. You know, salt, pepper, seasoned salt. I have some cloves and some sage and garlic. Right, that's it. Uh, then this little pot, this lid goes with that pot and then has the little skillet. Now I'm going to put the, all this stuff away and go to the next one. Okay, next is the first aid pouch. And there's quite a bit of stuff in here. I'll start with the stuff that's just loose in there. This is just a container of cotton balls. This is a sewing and suture kit. Roll of athletic tape. Uh, this tin has, I'll pull it apart really quick for you, this just has a bunch of uh, painkillers, allergy relief, uh, has a small, um, can't think of the name of it, <laughs> uh, has some triple antibiotic ointment in here, uh, sting relief, burn cream, uh, band-aids, gauze, pads, things like that, just your basic first aid kit. I gotta get these bands back on here because this thing is so full it'll pop right apart if I don't. Okay, so up next, a little bit of hygiene, toothbrush, toothpaste. Um, this bag is actually packed for winter, but you never know how long you'll be out, and so I have some uh, mosquito repellent. Uh, on this side, I have four hand warmers. I have some compressed towels. There's a dozen of them in there. Uh, these are great for, uh, well, wiping your backside. And then I also have wet wipes, cleaning your hands, and uh, other sanitation purposes. Uh, in this middle pouch here, I have the Aquamira water purification tablets. Uh, there's 10 packages of them in there. And then a regular space blanket. I also have an Ace compression wrap and some rolled gauze. Then in this last little pouch, I have eye drops. A lot of people forget eye drops. You get something in your eye, you're kind of dead in the water. Uh, liquid Band-Aid, new skin. I use this a lot more often than I would uh, wrapping a finger up with anything. If it's a little cut, that stuff works great. And then chapstick, multiple purposes there. I also have this little uh, first aid guide just in case you're, uh, you know, in a really bad situation and your brain isn't uh, really cooperating with you, it's always good to have a little guide with you. So I'm going to put all this stuff away and I'll move on to the next pouch. Okay, so next is this pouch. This has all my food in there. Just have some Lipton chicken and noodle really quick. All this stuff just requires water. Well, except for the meat, of course, but uh, that just kind of goes in with this stuff. I did a video on uh, budget food ideas for your bug out bag. This stuff, all the stuff I mentioned there. 
is actually in my bug out bag. One more. That's it. That's all of my food. Uh, should cover me for three days or better. Okay, next is this pouch up here. This one does not open up very much. Now, you've seen this plenty of times. This is a Shemog. Uh, usually, I, when I do any kind of a tabletop review, this is what I use underneath of it. But my bug out bag is always out here in the garage ready to go on the way out the door. So that's why I use it all the time. Uh, there's a ton of stuff in this bag. Uh, one thing I'll show you in the top of this, hanging off the key uh, lanyard, is one of the SOL micro LED. It's a 10 lumen little light just to look down inside the bag. This is a P51 military style can opener. Uh, the reason that tape is around it is because that uh, is very sharp. And if I'm digging around in this bag, I don't feel like cutting my hand open on it. So, as for the rest of the contents, it's a two foot by one foot square or rectangle of aluminum foil. I have a few pieces of fat wood. Uh, these things right here are great. I see this. I strongly suggest this for any survival kit or bug out bag, get home bag, anything like that. These are uh, search and rescue campfire starters signal flares. Flares that will start a fire. Dual use items. Multiple purpose items. Excellent for any bug out bag. Uh, this pouch here, I have some gun cleaner and oil. Uh, you can clean your knife and oil your knife with this. Uh, if you're gonna, not if you're going to do any food preps, but uh, also I, I carry a pistol with me every day. So uh, if I bug out, I want to be able to keep my gun clean. These are some other fire starters that you can get at Menards. I showed them in a video before this. I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep this in here or not, but this is uh, the Endure survival saw, wire saw, and then I also have some brass wire wrapped in with that. Uh, next thing, I have a little backup knife. Oops. This is my SCH F5N. Nice little neck knife, 1095 high carbon steel neck knife. That is probably the this knife is what I plan to do my food processing with, not the carbon steel knives. Uh, then I have some brass wire here that's apparently coming unraveled on me. I have a Brunton compass, it's a military style lensatic compass. Very, very accurate and not that expensive. It is good, solid quality. Now if I can just get it closed. There. Gotta do it the right way, dummy. Uh, some cotton balls uh, soaked in Vaseline. Like I said, there's a ton of stuff in this pocket. I have some electrical tape. UCO storm matches. You notice I'm going big on fire here, and I said this, uh, this bug out bag is right now packed for winter. So I go big on fire. This is a one inch wide roll of Gorilla Tape. I also have a field sharpener for my knives. It's a Smith field sharpener. Oh, what else do I have down here? I have a couple of Bic lighters. I'll find the other one eventually. Uh, this little Altoids tin, this is just a, a really small fire kit. If I should have to uh, grab and go, then this has uh, a wet fire, a UST Sparky, a Mini Bix, some Jute Twine, and in the bottom of that I have, well, let's just get it out of there. I have uh, some Tinder Quicks and some more uh, aluminum foil. I also have a, a little pencil and a Fresnel, Fresnel lens that is very tough to get out of there, but hopefully you can see that that's what's in there. It is not fun to get all this stuff stuffed back in here, so I'll just set it aside and do it later off camera. Oh, what else do I have in here? 
Ah, backup batteries for my flashlights. My EDC flashlight takes a AA battery. Uh, actually, right now it has a 14500 in it, but this is the Three Night Archer 1AV2. Uh, you can put a, like I said, 14500, uh, 3.7 volt, or you can put a AA in it. This flashlight here takes AA's as well. So that's why the backup batteries. Oh, anything else? Yes, I have the Frontier emergency water filter. The reason I went with this, it's a quick, very light throwaway filter, uh, and it is carbon filter, so it will uh, filter out chemicals. Uh, where I live, there are a lot of chemicals floating around from field runoff and things like that. So I wanted a carbon-based filter. This is the Aurora Fire Starter. It's a great backup fire starter. It is, uh, well, ferro rod, has a striker on the bottom. This uh, aluminum casing that, is, that it's in is practically indestructible. So that's why it stays in my bug out bag. Anything else? I know there's probably a couple more things floating around in here. Oh, yes, I have a uh, small battery bank. Uh, power bank for recharging my cell phone. I also have a new addition, something that I forgot to uh, throw in here before the video. I just got this uh, in the mail yesterday. Uh, it's a solar charger power bank, uh, 5,000, I think it's 5,000 milli MAH milliamp hours. So that is a great addition to this bug out bag. And Another AAA for my flashlight that's in with the knife. I think that might be it. Okay, that is it. Okay, for the main compartment, I gotta break loose these compression straps. This, uh, Bag is a clamshell designed for the main pocket. Can I get that one? There we go. Okay, so uh, I have to explain a few things. Uh, another one of those SOL uh, micro LED flashlights so I can look down in this compartment if I need to in the dark. In this I have 100 feet of paracord and three 55 gallon heavy duty contractor bags. I'm just gonna go ahead and put all this stuff back as I go. In this pouch, I'm gonna talk about this here in just a minute. This is the SOL heavy duty emergency blanket. It is, I believe, six by eight foot and uh, works great for a tarp. Has a reflective side on one side, just like a uh, mylar blanket. And uh, so it will, you know, keep the heat in on us. Now, this bag is packed awful heavy, but I am actually carrying stuff for my family as well. Uh, this, uh, just a roll of number 18 bank line. Can't remember how many feet is on there, but it's a lot. Uh, two mil plastic drop cloth. Uh, this way I can use that in conjunction with the uh, emergency blanket and make a super shelter. If you don't know what a super shelter is, uh, there's a lot of videos on YouTube about it. Uh, this, this is a bivy bag basically, uh, mylar bivy bag. Now the reason that I got this one instead of the SOL is because, let me get rid of these compression straps, this bivy bag, well this is a fleece sleeping bag, it's only good to about down to 40 degrees, maybe 35 at best, but in conjunction with this sleeping bag, I should be able to stay plenty warm with the type of shelter that I have and being able to make a super shelter I should stay very warm no matter how cold it gets. Uh, I live in Iowa and on average about the coldest it gets is maybe 10-15 below. So and then next 
This is a 100% wool blanket, queen size. Uh, these are not cheap. These are, you know, the cheapest you're going to find these is like 70 or 80 bucks. I just happened to find this on eBay. Uh, on, you know, got the winning bid on it. And so uh, it was just a great purchase. Uh, the best, the best wool blankets you can get. Uh, you know, you can probably get them a little cheaper, military surplus, something like that. But, uh, you know, your Italian wool blankets are probably going to be a little better than that. Uh, next, in this bag, all compressed. I'm not going to get this out. It's a pair of thermal base layers and a pair of 100% wool socks I have all wrapped up in here. Uh, base layers, top and bottom. So, now, if you didn't see this, you're going to think I'm insane, but I'm not. This is actually just a car shade, a window car shade uh, that you put in the windshield of your, of your vehicle. Uh, the purpose behind this, that mylar side of this, it doesn't, it does not give you much padding at all. You're still going to have to put some pine bows or something or some leaves underneath you. Uh, that's part of what the contractor bags are for. But this, with that uh, reflective side on it, it keeps the... Uh, keeps the ground from sucking all the heat out of your body. So that's why this is in there. So, that is about it. I'll get all this stuff put away and uh, give you some final thoughts. All right guys, so that is my bug out bag. I am very open to suggestions of things that you think that I, you know, should take out of this bag. Uh, like I said, it weighs somewhere around 27 pounds. So it's a little heavy for me to carry uh, very far, but, uh, you know, it's it's everything that I think I need for me, and I'm actually carrying a few extra things, uh, a little bit bigger things for uh, my family. So uh, they all have, we're working on their bug out bags, but uh, I plan on carrying the majority of the load. So, you know, give me your suggestions. I'm also looking for a different bag. Um, I'd like to have something that is a little taller, and not quite so deep. Uh, I even had to add this, uh, you know, extra pouch to this bag. So uh, give your, give me your suggestions on different backpacks uh, that you think all this stuff would fit in. So I can go check those out. And uh, you know, I will leave links in the description to every piece of gear in here, so you can go check it out. I'll also leave a link to the bag and this pouch, uh, the knife, you know, the tomahawk, everything. And uh, I'll also leave links to uh, videos where I've already reviewed a lot of this gear. So uh, that way you guys can go check it out if you're interested in any of this. If it, uh, you know, if it helps you figure out what you want to put in your bag in any way, uh, that's, that's why I'm doing this. So uh, sometime this summer, I'm going to be getting together with a uh, guy that I've just recently got to know on YouTube his channel uh, his name is Shane Coffee uh, really great guy great channel I uh, really enjoy watching him so go check his channel out and uh, hopefully uh, maybe we can get together and do a an overnighter video or something like that and go out and, and I can test my bug out bags so uh, you know really looking forward to that and uh, that's about it for today guys one thing I can't remember if I mentioned at the first part of this video is this bag is a internal frame pack and that is part of the reason why I chose it and then I also want to show you guys you know the nice pack straps and all that stuff like I said this is the LA police gear operators pack so uh, just to give you some ideas if you want to go check that out too uh, like I said, I'll leave the, the link in the description for that. So thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.